Hello, I'm creating this video to show you how to update your eChalk teacher webpage if you haven't done that already to make sure there's current contact information on that page, as well as to show you how to link um, your information from My Big Campus to that eChalk page. And when I talk about linking information, I'm really just talking about general information um, that parents may want to have for each of your class se uh, session, sections that you teach. Um, so what we're going to do first is to log in to eChalk. And you do this using the username and password that you've always used. Um, if you do not know yours, your building secretaries can take care of making sure that you have one. So just contact them. They have access to that. Um, and you'll want to log in. And when you log in, you're going to see some choices here. And you'll want to go, if it doesn't pop up like this, you're going to want to go into My Account and then go down to Profile. And when you do, you'll get this information. Um, what we want to have here, this is very general information. You know, we used to use eChalk for everything. And now it is only our web page host. So what you want to do now is just have basic information on your eChalk page. So we want to make sure that we have um, information like your email address is on there so that parents can contact you. Maybe a short little biography is on there. Um, and your contact, your classroom phone number. So if you go into edit profile, you have the opportunity to change all of those things. You can add a little bi uh, biography here. You have a classroom, put your classroom phone number here. Um, under office hours, I'm going to ask that everybody put their email address there. Um, when you look at your profile, it appears that your email address is a link next to the little um, mail icon, but that's not a live link. So if you type in your email address here, it will turn into a live link. So you want to make sure that you have all of this information pretty much up to date and then hit save. And that's really all we need for your classroom web page. Now, we're going to leave this open because now I'm going to go into my big campus. And what I'm going to walk you through now is making a page public so that when someone who just wants to access to see what's happening in your class, like your classroom calendar and those kinds of things can have access to that. This will be a great way for parents to get information about what's going on in the classes that their students are taking. Now, um, you have multiple se um, sections of courses. I understand that. Um, please understand that you'll have to do this for every group you have. Now, many of you have made mega groups, what we're calling mega groups. Um, and you've taken, like if you teach three sections of Algebra 1, you've taken all of those sections and turned them into what we call a mega group. If you've done that, you'll only need to link the mega group link to your eChalk page. If you haven't made mega groups, you'll need to make a link for each one of your sections. It's quick and easy to do. I'm going to walk you through that right now. Um, if you're not sure how to make a mega group and you'd like to, um, Andy Wallace has made directions for that. Um, we covered it in our training that we did um, after school um, last week before Labor Day. But um, if you want to know how to do that and you weren't able to make that training, if you go to the YCS My Big Campus group and join that group, he'll have a tutorial on there for you on how to do that as well. Um, I sent an email with a link to join that group. Um, if you do not have that, just contact me and I'll shoot that join code out to you again and you will can join that group that way. So what you'll want to do is log into My Big Campus and you'll want to go to your groups. When you're on your groups, you'll want to find the, the sections that you're going to want to link. And I don't have a classroom, so I've created a group for um, some of my students that I work with to use. Um, to access resources and those kinds of things, a way to communicate with them, my Tiger Tech Kids page. So that's a page I'm going to use. But any group that you have, when you pull it up, will look similar to this. You have to change your settings in this in order to make it available for public view. So you're going to go into Admin Options and click on Edit. When you're in here, you're going to see the information that you have when your group was established. The title of the group, the little description of the group. My group has an auto... A room, join code, auto join code, so you'll see that right there. Now what you're going to want to do here in this box is this is like going to be your home page. So you want to put a little greeting in here for people who visit your home page. Just this is my page, here it is. And so you want to just, I've already kind of um, 
created one, so I'm going to put it in here. It doesn't look like my picture wants to load in there, so I'll take that off. Um, so just a little welcome, a little greeting. You can change the way this looks um, with font sizes and that kind of thing if you want to make it look a little nicer. Or, um, oops. There we go. However you'd like to do it. Um, so just make a little greeting in there. And then you'll want to go down to this privacy part. This is real important right now. If you want this to be visible on the internet, so anybody on the internet can view, you're going to want to select this box. Now, when you select that box, you have these options of things you want to be made available to public view. Not everything you'll want to be made, of, um, made available for public view. For example, discussions, we do not want that available for public view. There's no reason parents need to be in the discussions. If students want to go in, they can log into My Big Campus the regular way. We would want parents to be have access to our classroom announcements, our classroom calendars, the group's announcements and calendars for just that group, as well as the resources. Um, resources that their students might need to use, maybe even you could put resources for parents on there. Um, however you choose to use this page, you'll want to communicate that with your students or parents somehow. Um, so. Those are the three things that you really want to be made public. These other two things we're not going to check, so they won't be made public. And I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a little bit. So after you get that done, the rest of this, um, the rest of the information can stay the same. And you'll just want to hit save. And now your page, all you can really see the difference is this welcome statement. What you'll do now is go up and highlight your My Big Campus link and copy it. And then go back to your eTalk page. Go back into Edit Profile and go down here with your biography and you'll want to type um, something to let people know what you're putting here. So I just put Tiger Tech Kids on my big campus to let them know what this link is going to be. And then paste that link in that you just made. Now when you look at it, it doesn't look as though it's, it's a live link. Um, it's kind of like the email was before. It doesn't look like a live link either when you put it under the office hours um, section, but it is when you go out of here. So you'll want to go ahead then and have that be a live, put your link in there and hit save. Now what you've done, see it's, it's live there. What you've done then is you've added this live link to your Yorktown website, your teacher website. So I'm going, and again, if you have multiple sections, you're going to want to do this. So I'm going to go in now. I'm going to hit log out of eTalk. I'm done with eTalk now. I'm going to go back to my big campus. I'm going to also log out of here just to show you what it's going to look like. So I'm out of there. Now I'm going to go back to Pleasant View Elementary School here and pretend I'm a parent going in. Go back into the teachers to find me. Here's me. And there's that link. And when I click on that link, watch what happens. It takes it to my big campus and it automatically lets them in because you made it public to anyone on the internet. Now, announcements would be here. I would want to play this out a little bit. Um, announcements would be here. I haven't posted any announcements to this group yet. Um, the announcements would be there. We took discussions out. Look what happens when I click on discussion. It prompts a login. That's because we didn't allow anybody to view that. You have to have a username and password. So if you communicate that with your students, let your parents know they shouldn't be able to access that, they'll, they'll understand that. Um, pages as well will do the same thing. It'll prompt them to log in. But look what happens at resources. There's the resources that I put in. So that they'll, that anybody who accesses this can go to my resources. Um, when I go to calendar, it views the calendar for just this section as well, this, this group, this session. So um, this is what you're going to want to do. This is, um, Dr. McCormick would like all parents to have access to um, information, contact information through for um, teachers, including email, phone numbers, um, and as well as access to My Big Campus through um, our Yorktown Community Schools webpage link. If you have any questions or having or find that you're having a difficult time uploading and taking care of this, um, setting your settings that way, um, just let me know. I'd be happy to come and help you.